When students returned from spring break to Norfolk's Willard Elementary School Wednesday morning, 10-year-old Sean Harrison won't be among them. Described as a quiet, mannerly student, Sean became the innocent victim of a quarrel that turned violent. Police say Sean's mother, 28-year-old Vernell McCoy, had been arguing with her boyfriend earlier in the evening. He left, but returned to the home with a friend just before midnight. They tried to burn the house down and ripped apart the back screen door. At least five gunshots were fired through the doors and windows. This woman lives nearby. She didn't want to be identified. The little boy, apparently, he was in the way of the fire. He got, he got shot. And the mother ran out the front after the firing was over. She ran over to a neighbor's house, and she asked somebody to come and help her get her son out. And the neighbors and everything came, and they got the son out. But it was too late. He was already dead. It was terrible. The cops took too long to come. It was terrible. Just like Dodge said, it was just like a big shootout. Mrs. McCoy escaped with her three other children. She suffered only a cut hand from broken glass. Neighbors say they were shocked by the incident that the McCoys were a quiet family. Two men, 21-year-old Fred Hurdle and 34-year-old Moreau Lomans Jr., both of Norfolk, have been charged with several crimes, including murder and arson. Sean's classmates and teachers are taking up donations to help the family. In Norfolk, Cynthia Smooth, The Daily News.